Good day. My name is Vijay Prashad. I am the director of Tricontinental Institute for Social Research. I'm very pleased to be with you, although via video. I send you greetings from our institute, which is based in the three continents of Africa, Asia, and Latin America, and which for the past eight years has been working on an agenda for peace and development. I would like to spend my few minutes with you to talk about the two key words of our institute and of this forum, peace and development. Peace can be understood in two different ways, as passive peace and as active peace. Passive peace is the peace that exists when there is no war, but when the countries around the world continue to build up their military arsenals. Military spending has accelerated to such an enormous level that it now overwhelms the budgets of many countries. The guns might not be fired, but the guns are still being bought. That is peace, but of a passive kind. An active peace is a peace without such an enormous quantity of guns. It would be a peace where the precious wealth of society goes toward ending the problems faced by humanity. An active peace is not just an end to gunfire, but a dramatic reduction in military spending. Development refers to the overcoming of the social problems humanity has inherited from the past and that it reproduces in the present. These problems include poverty, hunger, illiteracy, and despair. To overcome these problems, we need to spend our social wealth judiciously. Wealth which is produced by society is not for the few, but for the use of society. To develop means to use these resources for good and not for war. That means development relies upon a condition of active peace. We want ceasefires, certainly, but we want more than that. We want a world of active peace and development. We want a world where our grandchildren go to a museum to see what a gun looks like. Thank you very much.